Since algebraic geometry can be thought of as those spaces which are carved out by polynomials, we should better understand the polynomial ring and its construction in the category of commutative rings or commutative algebras over some ring R. As we said before, there's this free forgetful, a joint situation between commutative rings and sets, but we can also think of commutative rings just as a normal commutative algebra over the initial ring Z, the integers. Then given any commutative ring R, we can form a free forgetful joint situation from a commutative algebra over that ring R to set. The forgetful functor can actually be given as a co-representable with a representable object being the polynomial ring over one variable, or it's a univariate polynomial ring as it's sometimes called. The left adjoint, or sometimes known as co-adjoint, F, will be given by this polynomial ring construction where the variables are given by the set on which the free functor is acting on. So for example, if we have a set with three elements, x, y, and z, the free functor from the category of sets to commutative algebras over R are going to be the polynomial rings with three variables. Then by this universal mapping property of the joint situation, we, we can take a set x and include it into its variables on the underlying set of the polynomial ring and then given any other set map f from x to the underlying set of a r algebra a there is ex there is this unique r algebra morphism which is known as evaluation which just takes a polynomial with coefficients in the ring r to the element in a which is the sum of those coefficients acting on the elements in A which were given by the morphism from X to UA. In other words, we could think of the HOM sets of R algebra morphisms from the polynomial ring with N variables to A as being the same as giving N elements of A. So going back to commutative rings, if you have this polynomial ring with n vari variables, this polynomial ring with coefficients and in integers, which is just the free functor acting on an n element set. If we quotient out by, let's say, m polynomials and look at a ring morphism from that ring to a, we can see it's the same as giving a-valued solutions to those polynomials. So in other words, it's the same as giving a1 to an in big an such that fi evaluated on this element is zero for all i equal to one to m. So in other words, this type of situation is precisely what we want when we want to analyze Diophantine equations.